Hey there, welcome to another Edit Video Faster tutorial. My name is Josh Short, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Trim to Fill effect in Avid Media Composer. So there's um, an issue that I come across all the time when I have a clip, and it's just not long enough. So in this example, I have uh, this clip up here in the source monitor. It's three seconds long, but I need it to fill this gap here, which is 321. So when I uh, try and edit it in, it tells me it can't do it. So what are we to do? Um, there's a number of different uh, time manipulation effects in Media, in media Composer, um, but I find one is the super simplest to use. Uh, and that is called trim to fill. So what we do, we're going to take our clip, uh, we're going to remove our out point in the timeline, and we're just going to paste it in uh, at full. So this is the length of the clip. It's three seconds, but we need it to go all the way to here. All right, let's open up our um, effect palette. So if we hit Command-8 if you're on a Mac, Control-8 if you're on a PC, this guy will pop up. Let's go all the way down to Time Warp. Now, a lot of people use Time Warp um, to do a lot of different time manipulation techniques, um, and it's good for a lot of different things, but if you just want to do something simple like this, I really recommend Trim to Fill. So select Trim to Fill, and let's drop it onto our clip. We go into Trim Mode, and now we trim to the place that we need. And we can get out of trim mode, and we can see that the clip is now slowed down to 81%. So when we play it back, they're moving a little bit slower than how they would be at normal speed. And to change the different um, the different time options, uh, if we go ahead and go into effect mode, um, this. Uh, this box will pop up, and that might be new for some of you. Um, when you work uh, in with the time warp effects, uh, you use the motion effect editor instead of the effect editor, which uh, you're probably used to seeing. So by default, it's under duplicated field, um, and you know I find for most things this is going to give pretty good quality. Um, but if you just need to up it just that little bit more, um, you can go and try fluid motion. Um, and when you render that out, um, you can see you have to render it and able to see and able to view it. Um, you can tell by this blue dot in the timeline instead of the green dot, which was there before. Um, fluid motion, it will give you a smoother, uh, smoother effect. However, uh, the file size will be a little bit bigger. Um, so it, it's up to you uh, kind of which one that you prefer. Um, and so for... Um, for this effect, uh, you can also go the other way too. So if we paste it back in uh, and drop trim to fill back on, uh, we can speed the clip up as well. So the clip is now at 131%. Let's see, he moves even a little bit quicker. So that's it for this tutorial, um, short and sweet. Uh, I hope you try out Trim to Fill. I think it will uh, it'll help you in a lot of your time manipulation needs for Media Composer. Uh, if you like this tutorial, uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, head on over to the website editvideofaster.com. Uh, I try to come out with something new just about every week over there. Uh, and uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon.